In this video, we're going to go over using Django measurement to store and retrieve measurement data out of a database and use that inside of Django. To get started, we're going to do a pip install Django measurement, and it's going to go through its normal process. Django measurement is an awesome library that takes the Python measurement library and it makes a Django backend for it and allows you to create some model fields so that you can save measurement data of different sorts which we'll show you here in a second, into the database and then retrieve that out and get a measurement object from the Python measurement library. It's super convenient and a really great way to store measurement data in the database, pull it out and then it'll do the calculation for you for what conversion needs to happen. So if you have something in pounds and you need to do kilograms, you can do whatever that object is, dot kg, and it gives you out the kilograms and it does the math for you. If you need to go from feet to meters, if you need to do all these sorts of kind of calculations, you don't have to spend a lot of time in your own code munging around with conversions. You can just use this library and you're good to go. Since we have it installed, let's go ahead and open up our models in our app. We're going to create a new model called Pack. Think of this as like a backpack or something. We'll give it a name. And then the first one we're going to deal with is volume. It's going to use a measurement field from our Django measurements library. And we're going to pass it in a keyword argument of measurement. So this is the measurement that this measurement field is going to be associated with. And we're going to use volume. Volume is a class that comes from the Python measurement library. And we're saying, hey, this measurement field is only going to deal with volume. The next field is sides. It's going to be a measurement field. And we're going to use a measurement object of distance. For material size, we're going to use area. Think of this as like square feet. And then for max weight, we're going to use a weight object. There's a couple of more that can actually be used, but this will kind of give you a, an idea of what to do and what you can use it with. And then for our imports, we're going to import from measurement.measures. So these are the measurement objects that are available. We use volume, distance, area, and weight. And then from the Django measurement library, we're going to pull in measurement field from the models. And that's it for our code that we need to write to use this in our model. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make migrations, run all of our migrations since this is a new project. And then now for the sake of brevity, we're going to go ahead and add these to the admin so that we can quickly add some data to the database. So we'll do from dot models import pack and then we'll do a pack admin. And then we're just going to register the pack model to this pack admin. And now we're ready to do something in the admin. If we we'll go ahead and go over to our browser, and go into our admin and we'll go ahead and log in. And you'll see we have you know groups and users, but we have packs here. So let's open up packs, add a new one, and just give some give it a name. And we're gonna set a volume of 60. We want it to be in liters, so we're gonna choose L. Then we'll, for our sides, we want 28 inches. For material, we want five square yards. And for our max weight, we want 60 pounds. Then we should go ahead and save that, and we're good to go. We have now saved these values. So to show this being used in the console so that you can get an idea of how to use it inside of your code, go ahead and open up our shell. We'll import our pack model. And then we'll go ahead and query for packs. We'll do pack all, and you can see we have one. So we're just going to do a pack object.get and assign that to pack. Now if we'll do pack.sides.inch, you see we have 28 inches. If we do pack.sides.centimeters, it's 71.1199999 centimeters. Pretty much anything you might want to do in your lengths or distance, you can do with this measurement object that's returned. Same thing with material size. It's turning back uh, square meters, but we want square yards, which is five, which is what we set up. So what you're going to have to do is in your code, you're going to have to be specific about what conversion that you actually want to use. So let's go ahead and create one of these objects from scratch so you know how to write the code to create an object. From our measurement measures, we'll import volume, distance, area, and weight. We're going to create a new pack. We're going to set our pack name to new pack. We're going to set our volume to an instance of the volume object. And we're going to set our liters to 22 with an L equals 22. In this keyword argument, there's a list of a lot of different keyword arguments it takes for different measures. And I'll link to that in the show notes. 
and you just pass in whatever that is with the keyword argument and your number. We'll do sides at a distance, since it's a length of meters at 1.2, material size of square meters of two, max weight is a weight of five pounds, and we'll just save it. And there we go, it's saved just fine. And if we do a query for all of our packs, you'll see we now have two. The other thing Django measurement offers is a form field uh, so that you can actually go ahead and interact with measurements with your forms. And so I recommend you give that a look. This is a great library and I've recently used it in a project where I have to deal with a lot of measurements of fabrics and other things like that. And it makes it a great and easy way to save this data off and then be able to convert it as I need to later for different scenarios. I really recommend you give it a try if you need to deal with measuring of anything. So with that, thank you for watching and have a great day.